John here with me and uh, first things first uh, we have just sent out a batch of EU codes so if you're in Europe uh, or connect to that store and you've signed up um, a bunch of people have gotten codes today we will have a second batch going out on Monday so there will be more going out uh, it's just we need you know to give ourselves slightly of a weekend you know, just <laughs> yeah. not everyone some people um, the US codes will be going out at 1 p.m. Pacific time so that is 4 p.m. Eastern yeah. whatever in between <laughs> <laughs> time um, zones. I hate time zones. so if you haven't received a code don't worry there will be more batches going out on Monday um, we'll update you on the times they go out when we know um, and if we do waves after that again we will keep you posted so cool yeah. Um, so that said, uh, oh, in between the sign-up time and now, also Sony has scrubbed for certain things. So if you are not 18, uh, if you're not in the right territory, if you entered the wrong PSN ID or something like that, unfortunately, you have been taken off of the beta list. Don't email us. There's nothing we can do about that. Um, so anyway, cool, exciting things now. Uh, welcome to the beta new people, and welcome to people later on who might watch the stream who are going in today. Uh, we have a whole new collection of highlights from the beta, which we are going to publish at the end of the stream so that people can play them and check them out. And uh, let's start with Dreamscape. Let's do it. Oh, this, this is cool. made by Agassi. Ag okay. Yeah, this one's cool. I really like this one. Should have gone I mean, in and reset. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Whoops, it's cool. So it, well. it just proves that we've played them all, though, and we're, we're checking it out. Okay, what have we got going on here then? Yeah, tons okay. of these are like favorites from people in the studio. And um, let's see. So here you have to find, uh, you have to see this little area that's opened up over here. It's a ruse. A ruse? Yeah, but we're going to look in anyway. Ooh, Three. green. Yeah. And so we have to find uh, these ways of getting out of this level. I love Aziz creations come in oh look at that that's really nice that's a good use of keyframes there mm. as these levels are coming in and creations and we're we've got a big tv in the middle of the studio and you just we, you reach the sort of maximum amount of people around it and you know something's cool and everyone comes running <laughs> over and they're like laughing like oh well, what's this new thing that's coming yeah. it's like daily yeah it's um, so it's so nice to see you all like surrounding what i love TV. about this too is they have the sounds coming out of the controller like oh, people are really nice. uh, utilizing a lot of the different tools i love um, it and these are people who have only had the tools for such yeah like a short time so they've had to learn the tools and then make the level with the tools that they've learned in that period which i find like it's it's so much more impressive than i thought like everyone out there in the community have been making such cool stuff i didn't yeah. expect such cool stuff straight away like that. it's wonderful you, mm. you're making my dreams come true no. <laughs> it's so good. It's oh my lovely. goodness what's happening <laughs> look at that oh that's a really nice yeah. use of strokes there wow this is really fast it's all set up yeah isn't this cool Oh, that's nice. Ooh. Wow, that is. I love. Yeah, I, oh, it's so. It's that's really great. That's a serious like amount of gameplay. You know, that's like a decent mm. amount of time of. That's really good. Give it a like. We like I it. Nice. will like it. Nice. Okay. Amazing. Okay, well, what we uh, got next? Next game. We pass pass yeah, the controller. Pass controller. Oh yeah. Um, are we gonna do it? Are we just gonna go in order? Or are we gonna pick which which ones we like the look of? I don't know. What do I think we? Could? I'm gonna. I'm gonna. You're gonna pick which? Pick one. That, which one? Uh, yeah, we're you want to see in order? We're going okay. Cool. Nice. And for anybody who's just joining us, uh, yes, we have just sent out a batch of the EU codes. The US codes have not gone out yet. Um, that will happen later today. Um, it is not the final wave of codes. We have another batch going out on Monday. We are putting people in in smaller groups. And um, obviously, if you didn't qualify for the criteria, being 18, being in the right region, all of that stuff, uh, you will have been scrubbed off in this process. Don't be mad. I'm sorry, 18. It's the rule. Um, and please, please, please check your spam. And if you have Gmail, your promotions folders, because <laughs> we have a lot of people who have written in, uh, and it was in there all along. Over to you, Tom. Oh, man. Oh, we got, yeah. We got new ah. resolution. That's right. I hurt your precious move controllers. Move controllers. I'm so sorry. My precious, precious move we, were, we were enjoying this one earlier, weren't we, Abby? Yeah. yeah. 
So actually, these past two creations were part of the jam, weren't they? they yes. They so those are made for the New Year's uh, community jam, mm. uh, and they were the top ones. This is so cute. Oh, okay, okay. So cute. Oh. <gasps> <laughs> yes, brilliant. Then he had make new friends, yeah. throw the best party ever. Yeah, definitely. It's a good list. I like it. Go to the gym. <laughs> Maybe next year. Yeah. Yeah. I'm yeah, loving like, these things in creations where people have like drawn onto the piece of paper or it. created paintings. Like obviously all of this was like these were done in the game. Go for a, go for an awesome party then. Yeah, and I love that they have little TV yeah. working and the game like it's too cute. I actually <laughs> oh, have yeah. this controller too later to show sort of the up close because it actually yeah. works with all the different buttons on the. It's ridiculous. So we're going out here. We go. Yeah, go out. You've got to obviously make friends. How are you going to make friends? Tommy trying to turn down the. <laughs> do you want to turn <laughs> the volume? Yeah, down? Just turn down the volume. <laughs> Sorry, turn Tom. you guys down. There you go. I there love there this it character. Goes. Let's put it down. There it's we so go. cute. So you got to go make friends, right? You, you could wave. Like that. So oh, let's go cute. and uh, find some friends. Um, what's really cool too is this person has, I think, just been updating the versions because you said you'd played this earlier and there wasn't the kite. Yeah, the kite. It's nice to see that it's being added to. That's really exciting. And then they, Look at that! So oh, I love their little faces. I know. So, and then it puts down its little yeah. tail. And then they're following. Oh! We have this so many one here. Squeeze. It looks like they've modified Connie as well because that's Connie's arms. So arms and like legs. They've yeah. They've sculpted oh, Connie to be like. Oh, smart! I didn't even there. realize that's that. Really cool. <gasps> okay, so now we've got two friends. Oh, Butterflies as well. That looks like uh, the tutorial Mike Pang did on our stream oh, last back year. Oh, yeah. back Butterflies, that's really cool. Maybe someone watched that. And I need to distract it. Yep, here we go. Apple picker. And we found this fisherman earlier. And he, oh. They wouldn't come with us, would they? Oh, I mean, they, 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 they're dedicated we were to the trying. cause of getting the fish. No, I just <laughs> love the way they were all, like in a row. Oh, they're so cute. Let's try and get the fisherman. I totally failed at getting the fisherman earlier. Excuse me. No, he's 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 in the zone. Or oh no! Oh, no. Oh, no. Here, we go. Yeah, Here we go. Here we go. I think I wasn't patient enough. It's got that hat. It's great, right? Let's, let's go have a party. <laughs> a party? What kind of party? It's gonna be a cool doop party. Doop -a -doop -a -doop -a <laughs> Where's the party location? <laughs> so cute. That's why I want to know. Oh, it's back, back, back home. Oh, oh yeah. Oh, John, you were right. Made them off of the stream. Someone just wrote that they. That's how oh, oh yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nice. Yeah. Wow, that's cool. And we have through here. So cute. Look, they're all coming oh, right. Oh, and we'll jump on this button. What's the, oh, party. <gasps> That's so cool. And then it's the music from Liam's Given oh, yeah, Time. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And then we've uh, got Dance, yes. <laughs> oh, it's so cute. <laughs> that is yes. really cute. It's so cute, isn't it? I like they've all got different dances as well. Like, yeah. There's a few different oh ones in there. That's really cute. Okay, this is a great this party. Is a, this is a good party. I love, like it. I love it. That is so well done, Stacey James. Cute. Congratulations. Well done. Cool. You. I'm so right. impressed. Right. Oh, yeah. No, You've got, got, you got visceral. You've got visceral. So, I mean, this one really has made the rounds in the office. Um, uh, it's so good and creepy. Super professional as well. Um, yeah. It looks like there's a team doing it as well, and they've really put a lot of effort yeah. into making something that feels... I like that people understand why we also put these things in the bank. <laughs> yeah, they get, <laughs> they get like, the idea. Just so you know, this is early. <laughs> Don't judge it too harshly. And this is uh, Disarm created this, and he's the one who did the MM sofa in LBP earlier last year, oh, which is really, really cool. Oh, wow, there we go. That makes sense. Reach for the light. Nice use of lens flare there. This is so like atmospheric and wonderful. Move. <laughs> Move. Go. I love it. Really good use of the sort of screen effects as well. Like, and there's like UI in the world that's like getting overlaid up. Yeah. It's amazing. Pick oh that yeah. Sorry. System. I think that's so cool. It's brilliant. This whole tutorial system here that they've built into it, which is just wonderful. Uh, let's see. I, think a f I thought there was R1. a flashlight to my. Yeah, okay. Explore. Explore. I don't know how far we should play into this if we want people to. Just have a little yeah. wander around. Yeah, the yeah. Just a little wander around. Just so you get the atmosphere. Yeah. Yeah. Um, they've really done a cool. Like, I love this, it's making so your own menus that and UI. Well, that's really cool, that. 
somehow you've got to figure out the code for this door later. And there's like a whole series of interconnected rooms and stuff here. It's just wonderful. The, the attention to detail on the textures on the floor and everything as well, it's just wonderful. Well so. done, new team. Mm-hmm. I like it. I'm trying to remember where I go. I always love a really good atmospheric game. Yeah, it's lovely. I like the Everyone's way loving the blocked sound. Off the corridors as well. Yeah, the sounds are the amazing. The sounds are so good. I can't wait to see where they take this next. I want to know what happens next. Um, oh, I know. Yeah. Is there, there's another wall one, right? It's yeah, follow the wire. <laughs> <laughs> there there it is. On nice. The ground. Kind of where you can see your own feet there as well. Yeah. <laughs> so creepy. Oh. What does that mean? Yeah, there's all this I know. weird, what does that mean? like... Because there's some, like, subtle stuff going yeah. on. Yeah. And connected. Yeah. Oh, it's just... Okay, I've got the code. So much. I mean, I think I'm going to run. <laughs> it's a good situation to run when there's potentially villain factor things yeah code required oh no <gasps> oh i thought i had it I no think you do. oh, oh you do but i think you need to get your health you need to do your health then oh you find right your stabilize your health do you remember i'm really intrigued that with was. this like world i think if you i think it's in the room to the left and it's like left yeah here. Yeah, yeah yeah oh yeah in right. the creepy yeah. flashy light room yeah. uh-huh yeah. absolutely yeah. want to go all the ones you want to go into yeah yeah, yeah. Painkillers. That's what you need. <sighs> Help okay. stabilize. Nice. Stable. Let's do it. It's great to see what people have made. And they've they've made their own sort of first person rig here, but I, I've noticed a lot of people have done that and they've been sharing their versions of the first person yes. rigs, which yeah. is really cool. So there's a whole bunch of different kind of first person yeah. feeling games out there, which is really awesome. Yeah, we were looking around at some of the logic earlier of people that have shared just to then plug into levels. Yeah. We've got something in this You're being right, really generous out there. Stay, Stay out, out of the, the dark. Reach the light. The light. I love it. The UI and everything. The whole presentation is really lovely. There's someone asking, did someone uh. make this in the beta? Yes, this was made in the past couple of weeks. Yeah, yeah. Um, I think it, it, what, it was uploaded like about three or four days yeah, ago? Yeah, something like that. This Not week, that I think. Yeah, this week, yeah. And so they've had to learn all the tools and then create this level in that time, which is just... Just brilliant. Bonkers, really. It's like hiding from you. I know. Oh, Got it. shot. No. <laughs> <laughs> you guys <laughs> probably don't realize how many shooters I play. Yeah, played play some, you know, some FPS. All right, I think we're going to... Oh. I mean, that's good. That's good. Oh god, that was yeah, a terrifying it is moment. We we'll give awesome. that one a like. Well Do done. it. Congratulations, <laughs> you guys. I know there's a team. I just look at the other names here. Really so. impressive. Yeah, nice. Well done. Okay. I've oh, got I can't wait to. Ah, uh, yeah, this here. is really cool too. Again, like people have very different techniques for making stuff, and this is one of the first like ones I've seen where people really have like all the drawings on the page. Mm. So let's see. L two, R two, F two, right. Okay. Oh, I see. It's so clever. Oh, that's really nice. A little puzzle to open it. A few people saying that we actually gave them a jump scare in this Oh, story. good. Yes, yeah. that was the hope. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Oop, went the wrong way. Oh. Go back. Oh, I love the way there was the other pages there, and you could see stuff on them. I know. People like are saying, oh, sorry, what were you going to well, say? Go ahead, I was saying, yeah. Um, people are just saying that the QR code that they put on the left actually works as well. <gasps> but we haven't. Where does it go? Where does I it go? Should Ask that. We should have probably tested that. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oops. Oops. Continue. Over to you, Tom. Oh, I get to play Follow Me. So. This is kind of like the opposite of Please Hug Me. It is. Or, or mm -hmm. you're playing from the other point of view almost, right? Yeah. yeah uh, kind of. Kind of, but yeah. But not quite. So I was surprised that. We haven't had a please hug me. The QR uh, code goes to his YouTube channel. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Clever. Cool. Very clever. Very nice. By the way. Nice. Smart. So the idea here is you have to stay with the blue square, like try and keep up with the blue square. Okay. Yeah. But then the white guy is trying to knock you off as well. 
and he gets Why faster. Because like right. he doesn't like look, it doesn't He doesn't like him. Yeah. Oh I see. He's just angry that you Grr. Yeah, and it gets kind of gradually faster. We're along with the music as well. Oh I see. Oh it ramps up in difficulty. How long can you survive for Tom? Is it like long? Well, I mean <laughs> I can survive for like ten seconds sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> How are you still alive? I'm doing okay right now. Uh, you got work. You know, like you. I just want to know what. Yeah, you're doing really well. Yeah. And then you lose. You're gonna try and like live on the edge. You lose health by staying out of the white circle. Like that. Uh, oh, minus twenty. Yeah, Ooh, that's, oh. that's mean. I just think it's a really, it's a lovely take on because please hug me being such a community favourite. Yeah, it's great. Yeah. Oh <laughs> no <laughs> no no! Don't. <laughs> no. Down to six deeps. Uh, uh, Forty percent health. Uh, come on, Tom. <laughs> come on, Tom. You can do it. I want to try and get seven thousand. Oh my god. <laughs> can you make something? It's back? really hard. Uh, oh, no, uh -oh. that was mean. Come on, come on. Oh, no, 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 it's oh. oh, that was a nice switch back there. I think, I think. No, no, oh. 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 Nice that's a grew got you. Seven thousand six hundred. Ah, that's amazing. I'm okay with that. That's pretty okay. good. Yeah. Okay, Goodbye. Abby, your turn. Cool. I'll we'll give have... that a like. Oh, yeah. Uh, what questions are we getting? What do we have next? Um, oh, we've got so many. We'll go back. We'll go back this way. Yeah. All right. So, oh, yeah, this isn't, this is just a little uh, flying car uh, example. This is just so cool. Um, well, like, I really like the sort of um, engineering, the design, the, you know, of that. It looks really sharp and crisp. Yeah, know, sort of slotted together. Shoots. You know, it's really really cool. Shoots. Yeah. I like that. Right, you've got a flying car. Needs yeah. to shoot. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> of course. Really That's what flying cars are. Nice. I love the leather or suede sweet sweet seats inside. Very nice. Yeah, just really beautiful. I noticed because of the lack of controls, it's obviously controlled by like some kind of psychic uplink. Clearly, you know, yeah. from the ah, future, absolutely. Is, you know. That's how it works. Or it drives itself, you know, self-driving hover car, flying car. And well uh, that's all you. Nice. So there are a couple people still jo just joining us in the chat asking about beta codes. Uh, right. Think? So uh, beta codes, we have just uh, released a bunch in Europe. Uh, we are also going to release another wave on Monday. So if you didn't get one today, there's still more opportunities to get into the beta. Uh, our U.S. codes have not gone out yet. The codes are going to go out at 1 p.m. Uh, Pacific. So uh, just hang in there. And the U.S., you know, they sleep a little bit later than us. <laughs> um, but we'll make sure we keep you posted on when the waves on Monday are going out as well. Uh, we just, you know, want to make sure that we're not going to crash our servers, keep ourselves up all weekend, all that fun stuff. Um, we're trying to get as many people in as possible, so thank you for your patience. We really appreciate it. Um, and we're making these collections of really fun, cool stuff for you to play. This is tricky. Oh, yeah, this yeah. one's so cool. This is just really simple and really clever. It tests how well you know all the buttons without. Oh, oh God, yeah. yeah. God. <laughs> And also, please check your spam filters, and if you have Gmail, your promotions folder, because those things do end up in there, so. The trickery of email service. You can tell that we've answered a lot of questions about that. <laughs> a lot of emails. That's really cool. I love that. <laughs> well done, you. Who's that? Yeah. Hanfi. Han Han I'll give you a like. like nice. Congratulations. Okay, we'll to next. Now, there's, oh, a, there's an in I love this one, and it's an interesting story, because... Uh, I, I have some friends who, you know, they're not in the industry, but I gave some codes out to, you know, like we when we were doing the thing. Yeah. And they made, the first thing they made was they sculpted a head. Right. And that head happens to make a guest appearance in here. And they were so happy, like, oh my God, someone used my head, you know. So, yeah. <laughs> Is that it? <laughs> yeah. It's quite an interesting oh, head. No. <laughs> it kind of haunts my, haunts my dreams. Oh my goodness. <laughs> oh! <laughs> Okay, that was fine. Where are we going? Oh no! Oh. More heads income. Ah. Believe in you, Tom. Oh, oh my Carol! Okay, we did it. Go on, okay. Oh, we're still going. I love the camera work. I love You're it. You're still yeah. going, yep. I think this was made by the same person who made the Quantum Donut, right? Oh, really? I think so. Oh, was so it? We definitely got a sense of their style. 
bizarre and hilarious. I love the, I love the, the character. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah. so good. <laughs> <laughs> I did it! You did it! Oh. Yay! And it's it. Oh, it's yes. well done. Nice. Well, well done. Sense. Now yeah. try again. Your time is no, bad. Try again. Your time is bad. <laughs> That's telling you, Tom. Yeah. I feel. Yeah. I feel targeted. Oh, thank you. Thanks. Well done. That's amazing. Okay. Um, so this was another one of our. Uh, I think this is an entry for the current community jam. Or no, is it last week's the tropical? Yeah, I think it was. Yeah. Possibly current. Let's reset. Man, there were so many tropical island levels that I was mm. playing through. I spent about two hours just going through them all. Just nice. It's so a real cool. grey week. Had some real envy. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> this is lovely. This just looks so cute. Yeah, it's really sweet. <laughs> <laughs> you kind of just go through and find all the little uh, hidden eggs. Oh, hidden Easter I like it. Egg, yeah. Easter eggs, yeah. Exactly. It's very smart. I thought there was... Oh, yeah, that's, Ooh, that's down there. good eyesight. I, I don't. I just maybe have played this. <laughs> <laughs> I have the little sounds I make as well. It's like my eyesight's going, but my memory is still working. <laughs> There's one in this tree here. And yeah, you kind of just explore this nice... I mean, I'd love to be able to walk around on here. It's a really yeah, it's cute uh, thing. Yeah, if you're the person who made this level, you should... Yeah. And a little character would be after you've got the eggs, maybe you get to walk around as one of the hatchlings or something. Cool. I feel like like everybody gets to criticize our games, so now yeah. we're just gonna be yeah, exactly. loving yeah. it. No. <laughs> this was uh, super sweet. I'm gonna pass it back, uh, but just give this a try. It is just really adorable. Give you a like, lack lack. What good is job. Next, lack lack. I don't know what is next. Let's have a look. Oh, oh my god, I oh, love you, this. This is oh. amazing. This is one of my oh, yes. favorite video games in so far. You're about to watch the future of classroom education right here, and it's going to be made in dreams, and this is wonderful. This is, this is uh, yeah, absolutely one of... Obviously, maximum education. Go maximum. You got to go big or go home, John. Okay, let's do it. <laughs> wow. Incredible. I hope you're remembering this. I'm trying to. There is a test Amazing. later. Amazing. They have no base. Oh, I, th I think I they hunger do. for more. <laughs> this is the Ionic Order. Now that's fancy. I love the little <laughs> captions underneath. It's brilliant. Mm -hmm. Much knowledge. Much knowledge. <laughs> Someone's getting a flashback to their last term in uni. <laughs> they normally have a base. Oh, okay. <laughs> Which one was that, John? The, the, the Ionic, Ionic. Ionic. There is going to be a test. Okay, okay. Yeah. I remember. Delicious. <laughs> nutrition. I'm not sure there's much nutrition in there. <laughs> <laughs> Please tell me there's more. <gasps> Look at those ones. <gasps> what? Oh, Warning. What What's going on? C is curly snail in the chat is. Imposter in columns. In columns. Yeah. Oh, there we go. Curly Snail in the chat is having flashbacks. <laughs> They've recently just done an essay. What, on columns? On columns, yep. Okay, let's punch those into the, out into the distance. <laughs> there they go. Oh my god. Get in the sea. <laughs> Get in the sea, you imposter columns. Okay, John, Correctly now it's time. Correctly categorised columns as they pass through the force field of education. That's amazing. Okay, that one is, is that a the... Yeah, I'm going to say Corinthian, yeah. That's nice. an imposter. Yeah, it's yeah. definitely an imposter. Mm -hmm. We've got some imposters in Guildford, I've noticed. My, oh, my criticism is I wish that they put the, the uh, controls on the that screen while you're doing this. That would help. It does start to oh, get uh, tricky. That's tricky. You can tell the, the yeah. Corinthian and imposter. Mm -hmm. The imposter's got like a little scrolly bit. See, there's an imposter. Imposter, yeah. Uh, it's got the scroll. Uh, mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. We had a Phil really, really yeah. smart. You got yeah, I'm so notes, smart. Yeah. Yeah. This is, this this is it's taught. It's yeah, you learn. Yeah, learn. Kareem was up here earlier playing this, and he was uh, along with Alex, and he was, they were both enjoying it very much. Okay, starting to get trickier. Ooh. Ooh. Is that even the right one? No, that nope. was wrong. Oh, God. Oh, my God. Is that the eye on it? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I think this is so smart. Oh, I hope they make oh, more wow, educational games like this. Yeah, I mean, it starts to just really uh, pick up. 
Oh no. You're doing great though. Ah. Ah. I mean you were doing ah. you still are doing great. Ah. 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 Test complete. <laughs> well, wow. okay, that was um, <clears throat> definitely educational. We can use that. Congratulations, you can now use your knowledge to impress people at parties. I will definitely use this knowledge to impress people at yeah. parties. I'm yeah. already more impressed by you, John. Yeah, thanks. Wait, what is that? There happening? is a party. <laughs> <laughs> Hello. <laughs> <laughs> That's a real powerful stare you've got. Okay, <laughs> that is definitely a powerful stare. <laughs> the person on the left's also got a powerful stare. <laughs> Have a great time. Have you heard of the classical order? No, what is that? What are you seeing? <laughs> <laughs> she is not interested <laughs> at all. <laughs> is that how I impress people at parties now? I feel like this is giving me a confusing message. Yeah, don't. <laughs> don't. Wow. So we've got this one next, which is like a puzzles, isn't it? Yeah. With a great little animation at the start. Oh, they look concerned. I do. I just like that they, you know, like there's not like an actual like face on it, but then it's, it's still very expressive. Yeah, yeah. They, they did a really yeah. nice job yeah. in this of making yeah, it. Yeah, they're like, what? Yeah. <laughs> I'm, I think that's so good. That's wonderful. Oh my god, that's. Meow. <laughs> 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 Needs to be like a little path. You know? Yeah. <laughs> that's amazing. Okay, right then we're in first person. Whoa. Yeah, yeah you okay. crashed. And Change of pace. Get doors, nice. Do -do 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 -do. And now you have a bunch of puzzles to solve. This mysterious golden pillar. Into the darkness. Yeah. Like that. Okay. So you can press all these. But to know what to do, here. Uh -huh. uh -huh. Now, is it mirrored? As in, does it match through, or is it? Do you look at that and then? So you look at that, and yeah. then you have to replicate it on here. Uh, so those two are like that. Oh, I see. Mm -hmm. Like that way. Like that. I just, uh, oh, no, you turned that one off. That was already right. That oh, was that right? Yeah, that was. Oh, yeah. Nice. oh. Yeah, okay. yeah, there yeah, we go. Yeah, yeah, and then. Boom. Yeah. Boom. 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 <laughs> Cool. You haven't done that puzzle before, Tom. No, never. No, never. Never done any of this before. Nothing. Should we let so. everyone... Should we not? Yeah, should yeah, we not, not spoil it yeah, for, no. for the piece? So that's really cool. Like, yeah. It's quite a bit that's like a bit. We have a jellyfish again. Oh. Uh, the Quantum Donut, so... There you go. Double feature. So now wow. we sort of shorter, like, little bits and pieces. Little, oh, little yeah. Nice. Okay, so um, we're going to look at Don't Sneeze. <laughs> Which actually okay. comes off the back of the MM birthday cake. Don't press square to sneeze. Don't don't press square then. Don't do it. That would be. What should I not? I, no, I, I don't I think mean, you should. You said not to. No, I don't think you should. Like, so I shouldn't. You definitely shouldn't do it while facing the tape. Like no. No. No, yeah. no don't, I don't, don't think. No. Do no. It. no. Yeah. Oh no! I did it, Abby? <laughs> you had one job. <laughs> oh, sorry. Well, they, yeah. they rewarded you. The game said great yeah. job. Yeah, so well, yeah. I'm gonna go with that. You, you were meant to press square? I love that those like little bits are some of my yeah. favorite things that I are just really those. simple and small. Um, Painterly cool boy. That's a good title. Nice, it's cool, yeah. yeah like There's that. just some art. Oh, that's like, really it's nice a brilliant character. Yeah. That reminds me of uh, artist John Exley's style. That's really cool that someone's experimenting with the looseness. Yeah, really Very nice. Very cool. It was cool to see some of the art. We were trying to mix it up and Lip show yeah. some stuff uh, yeah. a little bit different than we showed last week. Um, some more art and I'm logic. I'm a of this one. Oh, this nice. Oh, yeah, I like the retro. So cool, doesn't it? So retro. Oh, I wonder if the person who made this Beautiful. knows that you can use the screen grade thing to oh. make it look even more retro. Okay, one more shot, Tom. I was, I was literally just about to say that I, I have the high score on this. Uh-huh. I actually do. The high score, I actually losing do. the fastest? Apparently so. So now I have the... Okay, that's a very that loud noise sound. that's happening somewhere in that our office. That is strange. There's some strange so noise have just happening. Cool. Yeah. I that thought we were going to have happened. to evacuate then. <laughs> now, we've, we've ignored a fire alarm before. That's true, like, we yeah. All just the stream is more important than our us. lives. Yeah. I mean, we're completely law-abiding. Like, uh, the alien invasion is happening, but we're busy. It did sound yeah. remarkably like a T-Rex. It did? Well. <laughs> Speaking of T-Rexes. Yeah. Bring out the T-Rex. <laughs> Link. 
Okay, cool. See, it'd be no, cool no. if you could just bring it out. And yeah, just like, there it is. I mean, we I guess we could. Now, now you've seen my skills at Retro Runner. Like, it don't count. Yeah. Oh. It's I'd, I'd, you, you I'd, died on purpose. I died on purpose. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 It's sure. exactly what yeah. I did. It's yeah. exactly yeah. what I did. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Well, talking of T-Rex, I'm going to... Yeah, bring down. out yeah. the T-Rex. This is awesome. So someone has sculpted a super awesome T-Rex, and it's amazing. Good use of all the tools and the soft blend and the hard blend. And what's really cool about this is that someone in the office, Kevin, one of our QA people, decided, because he thought it was so cool, that they were going to remix it. And going over here, if you look in genealogy, you can see remixes, and they've remixed it, and they've done something really cool. They've turned it into a puppet for you. Oh. And it can kind of like, huh? What's I want good? it in everything I make. And you can just puppeteer with it. It's really cute. So good. It's so really that's awesome. really fun. That just shows mm. the power of remixing and collaboration. You know, that mm. perhaps the person who sculpted this didn't know how to make Can you do anything with those tiny little arms? <laughs> Shake them in frustration. Yeah. And, <laughs> why have I got such silly hands? <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, that's very that's brilliant. Cool. Uh, well that's done, awesome. person who made Car that. Uh, and Clara Cat and yeah. Kevin. Combined yeah. with someone. So that's like you combined with someone at MN. Unbeknownst mm. oh. to you, maybe. Uh, someone in the chat has just asked if they can see some, if we can see some characters, and we've actually got yeah, a, yeah, we've yeah. a whole yeah. setup of characters here. Is amazing. I love this. This is really cool. The the animation on this, the run animation that mm. they've tweaked is just wonderful. The hair and the cloak, is, I'm just... I'm looks, really impressed. I want to make a film with this character. Wonderful, really, really nice. Definitely like that one, the plastic duck. Cute robot. Let's have a look at that one. That is definitely a cute That's robot. A cute robot. Yeah, that is, that exactly is a cute as advertised. robot. Exactly as advertised. <laughs> They're not misleading you in any. <laughs> just do the stream where we do sound effects for everything. Yeah, we should. We should just record sound effects for everyone, and then they can, they can use them. Do we have the cake at the end. We see the cake on oh, the far yeah. right. Oh, yeah. So, oh, yeah. so last year, last, last year, year, last week. No, yeah, no, last year. Almost last year. But not year, quite. Um, people have made, we, we gave the cake out. And someone remixed this in about what, half an hour, if that, well, of the stream. I think like, it was by the time we got yeah. downstairs, it was that. I love the feet. That is, that is some. Oh, I'm a birthday cake. Monster. I mean, seriously <laughs> cool. <laughs> and speedy, incredibly fast. Mm. So well That's done. That's really you. cool. Uh, uh, Mr. Pork is another really oh good yeah. character. Oh, yes. I just want to <laughs> I want to walk around and kind of be like, oink, you know, uh, like a yeah. really <laughs> beefcake oinky voice. He, look, he, <laughs> he just looks so angry. Look at the, look at the tie as well, swinging around. That's yeah. Just, that's really nice. Well done. Oh, that's Plastic Duck as well. Yeah, Plastic Duck yeah. is yeah. some duck really is. cool. Show a few more characters. It's cool robot, robot version 2.0. I love the, the missing torso, like the yeah. magnetic levitation. I, it's the, so clever. And the sort of silly robot walk, you know, the intentional <laughs> like... Dit, dit, yeah. Dit, dit, dit. Lovely. I like that one a lot. Yeah. And we've actually included some music in this collection as well. Yes, let's have a listen to that. So what I'm going to do, in, I'm going to remix it because then we can, we can look at it in this view mm. we can see it cool playing. I didn't publish the remix, so I'm not trying to trying to yeah. steal them from you here. Oops, that was the. Oh yeah, go into the. Uh, yeah, just so we can see what it looks like. Yeah. Oh, this is, it's this really is cool. It. It's just so we can. We can show everybody. Oh, that's really nice. Yeah, yeah I love the. Du -dum, du -dum. Kind of reminds me of like Beverly Hills Cop. <laughs> you know that. Yeah. <laughs> I think it's this. Uh, it's so season. funky. I love it. That's very, very cool. There's some really, really cool creations on there. String beans. String beans is good. This one is really oh, uh, disarmed. Yeah, 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 so funny. Yeah. Yeah. 
sometimes. <laughs> They've even graded their their music as well, <laughs> just to give it this dark. Well, it looks like they've incorporated some of their own sound elements here as well. It's really, really nice. Meadow. Well done, you. Yeah, it's Just super impressive. Don't save that. What else have we got going on here? Is this a bit of oh, yeah, this is some more music. But it's got like a, they've uh, set it they, to oh, a okay, scene. Let's, let's just go into it. Kit. Yeah, I love to find like whole collections of, like music videos. Yeah, it's so easy to marry the two in this. It's really great to see. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> Second part coming. In. I can imagine how that one's gonna go. Yeah, yeah. that'd be really great. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh yeah. Yeah, a couple more characters, and then the one on the left is great. That, that's so cool. That's a really good use. Of yeah, the, the strokes by the looks of it. This needs to be incorporated into something. Definitely. Yeah, I'm going to see Definitely. the whole game oh, yeah. around Stick Man. Yeah. Someone took your phenomenal. <laughs> no, oh it all up together. Yeah. Oh God, <laughs> this is John. This is your creativity you, in one yeah. thing. Yeah, that's terrifying. Yeah, just terrifying. And I work John. at Media Molecule, so that's that's yeah, my right. Look at that. <laughs> that is John. That is. <laughs> I apologise on behalf. No, that's that's okay. Oh, the house, the single house. Oh, oh this is amazing. Yeah. We were wondering. This person seems like they have to be a professional, like right, like yeah. this. I feel like whoever made this, it, it just has the hallmarks of someone who works in the industry or does yeah. something mm. like game design or something. Because it just this is fabulous. It looks wonderful. Yeah, the cat ears on the house. Yeah, they're so cool. I love uh, it. No, yeah. look, looking at the rest of their creations and they seem to have a theme going on, don't they? Yeah, like, I think they're gearing up for something big. So that'd be interesting really to see cool. where that goes. There's some uh, interesting bits at the bottom here. Oh, uh, yeah, we so found. some of these are selected uh, very much on purpose. We didn't show a lot of um, logic and stuff before, and um, a lot of the questions that we get are like, can you make characters swim? Can you do all of this stuff? And usually we're like, yes, but you have to kind of figure out how to do some of it. And um, so we were really uh, happy to see this, uh, that That's Pikachu so did cool. uh, swimming. And it's cool. Um, I mean, there's a bunch of collections of logic and stuff to let um, people use uh, a, bunch of, a bunch of the ones that we put in here. Um, one of the other ones that we really enjoyed was, we'll get to the rest of these, I promise. Okay, whoever made this <laughs> is my favorite person. I really like doing kind of architectural stuff and just build my own like houses and stuff. But that's kind of, I, I'm very basic and this was awesome uh, because this let me make uh, glass and all, and all of my stuff. And I know that looks really simple, nice. but if you go into the remix, um, this allows you to stretch it in any direction, so it's really easy for putting into your, into your levels, and then it just appears like it did uh, with that transparency when you go into play mode. Uh, nice. This has been so helpful to that's me. A really, <laughs> that's a really good use of the I hope it gadgets. is helpful to other people, because I just yeah. thought that that was uh, phenomenal. And it's really, really good glass. Yeah, like, it's really nice. Yeah. It's very, very, very well done. Someone asked me earlier somewhere Thank on you. Twitter or something, oh, John, can you show us how to make glass? Well. Someone yep. has done it for you yeah. already, so go and check that out. And, um, use it. and this is what we were, uh, you could see, I think this is the same one maybe that was in the earlier. Yeah, I think so. They've well, they had one. I, this might not be the same one because I didn't see the same creator, but this matches what That's I'm cool. doing oh, on that. the controller. I just thought that was That's really neat. very cool. So Good except for that part, which detail. backs yeah. out. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that was really cool. Oh, um, Charlotte, there's so much, isn't it? Tech there? crossbow. Oh, this is. This, I think you'll, yeah. you'll like this one. You'll like this, John. This seems very. Uh, Whoa! Special then. effects. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, look, it's even got a clip going through as well. <laughs> oh, I didn't even notice the clip. Was it? And I think that is a. Clip. Oh yeah. Compared to a magazine, that's actually a clip because it's solid with the things inside. Whereas a magazine then take pushes it. the bullets through. So oh, so technical. Cool. Uh, nice. Inside knowledge there. Teach so it, teach impressive. It. Someone's going to correct me on that, I know. Yeah. Yeah, probably. <laughs> uh, composite shark. You got a shark that likes to swim. Shark's amazing. Swimming. That's nice. So R2 accelerate. Wow. Oh, I just want to see a level with this where you're swimming around yeah. the water. That'd be mm -hmm. amazing. That is a good shot. That's a really good sculpt. Even if it's it was really nice animated, sculpt, it's a lovely it? sculpt. Yeah. Gorgeous. 
uh, there's one thing that's missing though is spider legs. Yeah, it oh, is, yeah. It is oh. missing spider legs. It's almost legs. like it's got holes ready for it in the side. <laughs> <laughs> Um, oh my gosh, what else? Um, um, I like that bit of logic at the bottom left there with the, the one more, more to left that one. This yeah, one, this yeah. Really cool. This is super cool. So, you know, somebody made a heart UI. Uh, really, we should uh, show the remix of this so they can kind of see um, how it's done. But I love that people are doing um, stuff to show logic and uh, how they make... Uh, cool stuff for other people for their games. Yeah, this is really cool. It's really good. Yeah, you guys out there, you're all really lovely, and you're all sharing a lot of each other. So keep that up because that's definitely the spirit of dreams mm. is helping each other and sharing. Yeah, <coughs> some of these we chose just because they were sort of randomly uh, cool, oh, just like an eye that blinks, yeah. with the strokes. Yeah, I like that. It's really uh, that's really good. Clever use of stuff. Um, and then, so we were looking at people doing some more complex uh, logic, and this was another one of the ones that came out, which is uh, using footprints. And uh, leave, cause somebody, I think somebody asked on the stream last week, like, could you leave uh, footprints behind or like steps in the snow? So we wanted to show that, yes, that is possible, and people have been doing it. Mm. Amazing. Um, I also, we were so impressed by this. So we get asked a lot of times if there's split screen in uh, Dreams, and there there isn't. But then we noticed today that like someone is uh, working on um, like split screen in Dreams, and it's really really cool. Yeah. Um, so if you press triangle, it goes to split screen mode. Yeah. Now what's nuts about this is obviously we don't actually have split screen, so they they're turning on and off the visibility of things to make it look like they're split screen. Alex like, Evans is sitting over yeah, there with a really yeah. interested maths. look on his face. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> the, the maths for this Off camera. must be like bonkers. You know, I just can't even. Oh, it, held it, my it desk. Just, yeah. Like, whoever's making that, you're a mad, mad person. <laughs> just crazy. Uh, yeah. But well done, you. <laughs> um, this is on the the lines of the um, making the footsteps and stuff, of making the grass move with you nice, when that's you're really cool. in here. Thought that was really nice. That's useful. Um, it is very cool that someone is working on that. Mm. Oh, what you else see did we? In quest, which is oh yeah, oh, we'll do that in a cool, second. Yeah. I love this. I, only it just looks so different than, uh, than <laughs> extra janky animation test. But yeah. like it's just strokes, and I see how they did it in the tools. Yeah. But it's clever, and I wouldn't have thought to do it myself. And it's uh, really lovely. Uh, it just oh, is it's very great. exciting. Here, I'll let someone else tour around for a little bit. Oh, oh, I just want to extra thank the glass in person because it's been a day. Where's in Peace Quest? Up there next to the swimmer and the. Uh, yeah, so yeah. a bit to the right, bit to the right there. Oh, in Peace Quest, yep. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, I love this. I think it's fascinating the way they've. Um, and if you're just joining us, um, we have sent out a batch of codes for Europe. Uh, we are sending ones out to the US, rather Sony is, uh, later today. That will be at about 1 p.m. Pacific, more or less, give or take. Uh, we'll also be sending out more codes on Monday. We're trying to get as many people in. We have to do that in groups. Um, so we appreciate your patience. And uh, yeah, that's where we're at right now with codes. This is a really good use of the control animator where you can have the imp visible on the outside and then yeah, they really sort smart. of like assembled it combined with a puppet i assume i haven't actually looked at it mm. but it's just a really neat way of giving the imp more character Ooh. yeah yeah uh, that was super cool yeah and their voice very, is smart, so very smart i can't wait to see all the our art things director was really enjoying this kareem kareem was enjoying this it's well done Nice voiceover as well. It's really good. Yeah. Good use of the microphone there. Mm. Amazing. Nice. <laughs> it's so cute. Any more things to show? We have that there. We've got over here. So we've got this one. Oh, that one we haven't done. This oh, one. this is a cool little just like arcade shooter. And this cool. I mean, like people are taking, uh, you know, types of games that they're familiar with and making their own versions of them. Mm. And you know, it's just really clever to see that. I don't know if you can hear the sounds of it at home because they're coming out through the controller. I'll put it up next to my mic and then you might be able to hear it. <laughs> Very cool. Pew pew. I see. And there's one more, I think, this one? Uh, yeah, I think we have a couple more, but yeah. yeah. Um, oh, that's cool. oh, this has come on since the last time I saw it. Yeah. Wow. There's some lovely animations in yeah, here. Yeah, the stamina the, the bar. Sort of roll, the health bar, yeah. Wow, yeah, this has um, really... Wow. Let's, let's go and take this big, nasty... 
Oh, you were about to get. Oh, oh, you, oh nice, 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 nice. Oh, I got hit in the head. You stow your weapon, you can take. Oh, he died. Duh. Hey, life <laughs> no, is lost. You know. God. Life's <laughs> lost. <laughs> oh, yeah, so you're a cool, cat, you, you actually you're a have. Cat, so nice. like, oh, of course, nice. Exactly. Very genius. That's amazing. Do we have what else? Um, uh, I think uh, there was one up here, the Norwegian. Um, oh, yeah, the Nor oh, yeah. Yeah, Norwegian. The Norwegian winter. I think we have a few more characters, too. A nice which scene. Which is very beautiful. That is beautiful. All the music so haunting. Yeah, really gorgeous. Um, like. Yeah, give it a like. All right, I think we have yeah. a few more characters to look oh, at. Oh, we have Pinstripe, Larry, Larry, Larry the Fairy. Larry. <laughs> People were really enjoying the characters. Yeah, the characters. They're yeah. so cool. <laughs> I love that. I love them. Isn't that neat? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> It's a lovely character. I want to see cosplays of Larry the Fairy. Yes, of course. It's a call out there. All plastic this deck again. Yeah, plastic deck. It's just be quite exciting. has an amazing collection of stuff. Oh, wow. Look at that walk. It's so, yeah. like... Gangster. <laughs> yeah, super gangster. Mm -hmm. And the run. The shoulder. Th those elbows as well. That's just... Very cool. Wow. Well done. I approve. Scallywag. Yeah. Scallywag. Yeah, that's cool. Also has uh, this uh, creator also has a bunch of really cool characters. I love the style. Well, it's well, really I beautiful. just want to see them all in amazing levels as well, you know. Yeah, I want to see them used. Too. Well, that's like you know the next step. Yeah, um, do you have anything on here that we haven't uh, uh, shown yet? I the chessboard. No, the chessboard's really cool. I found yeah, found this earlier. It's really just again like oh, a, a lovely scene. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And there are some comments on the creation of people saying, make it playable, make it playable, yeah, make that, it playable. That, yeah. 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 Baby steps, baby steps. Yeah. I think that's exactly their intention as well. Yeah, so uh, cool. That is like week two of, I mean, just scratching the surface of highlights that we've um, noticed in the beta. Um, again, if you're just joining the stream now, we have sent out our first batch of EU codes. There will be another one going out on Monday. US codes are going out at 1 p.m. Pacific on or about and um, we'll also be sending out another batch for the US on Monday we're trying to get as many people in as possible um, we can't get everybody in all at once we apologize for that um, we are trying to get as many people though who signed up so uh, bear with us and we'll do our best and yeah um, cool uh, what are you gonna show us today John uh, I'm gonna do some tips and tricks based on things that I've been looking at on the forum that you've all asked uh, one question that comes up a lot which I want to cover first is about the thermometer mm. so lots of people are making things and getting confused at why maybe they've used up so much of the thermometer or things like that yeah so I'm going to try and sort of alleviate some of the mystery surrounding the thermometer because it is a it's unusual and it's because we don't use polygons like most games what you may think is simple like a cube mm. is more expensive than you would expect it to be yet something that you would expect to be really complex like a face is about as cheap as a cube in some cases so yeah. you know I'm going to try and wash some of the mystery away so oops I exited here we go okay so uh, what I want to Sorry, there's some confusion on this stream about if EU code, like EU codes, EU codes, like our first batch has gone out, like we're not ignoring uh, EU, um, yeah, yeah. and there will be more going out on Monday. Yeah. Okay, so the way I'm going to uh, talk about this one is first I'm going to make a tiny thin bit of sculpt here, and I'm going to imagine this is a piece of paper. Whenever you sculpt anything in Dreams, imagine you, it's like you're painting on a 3D bit of paper, right? Mm. But to simplify the analogy, I'm going to make a 2D bit of paper here. Right. And when you first make something on your bit of paper, which is like the world canvas, this sort of 3D world, it sets the size of the bit of paper that you're working on. So if I put a cube here, the bit of paper would be something around about the size of this bit of paper in the background. This is the drawing on the bit of paper. But while people are in sculpt mode, so you can see I'm in sculpt mode because everything is gray, they start expanding it out, often with the stretch tool and things like that. So they stretch it over here. And what needs to happen in this case is that bit of paper needs to get bigger to accommodate it like this. Sure. So imagine each one of those bits of paper is like the cost of your sculpt. And so it's now cost like four times more than when you started. And you didn't mm. realize you were just like, I'm scaling it up. But if you're outside of it and you scale it up like this, it doesn't 
cost paper. What it actually does is it scales the paper up with you like this. So having it that big costs no more than having it that big. Mm. But if you're in sculpt mode and you start adding things like this, that's where the expense comes in. Right. But the cool thing is, don't worry, if you've made something like this and it's used like, you know, loads of bits of paper or you, f you s think it may have, you know, like lots of paper around like this, we have something called the Sculpt Detail Tool over here. And if you select that, it shows you what is expensive, colour coding it between red and blue, mm. and you can click on things to reduce how expensive they are. And what that actually does is if we zoom in, you can see it's loosening it up. Now, sometimes that's not good. You don't want it to be loose. Sometimes you want it to be tight, but it often depends at how far you're going to look at it. So if you're only ever going to see it from here, like loosen it's it up from the point enough. of view that you're going to look at it from, you know, and right. you may not see the difference. And that's already like saved you loads and loads of space on your thermometer. And that's one way of saving space. The thermometer is actually made up of lots of things. But just remember that, that if you're making it bigger in sculpt mode, that's costing you more than if you make it bigger just by scaling it up. Right. That's amazing. Uh, the next thing which I see people do as well, which ends up costing them a lot, is they make something, say, like a picture frame and a picture. What they do is they're sculpt. This is the most, I'm going to make the most expensive way I can think of making a picture <laughs> okay. frame. So you will start with a small cube like this. Then it will get stretched. And you, as we just discussed, that's now costing way more than you would expect. Yeah, I'm realizing how much yeah. my sculpt earlier <laughs> cost now. <laughs> then what they do is they start a new sculpt like this. And they will do the same thing. And because these are unique sculpts, that's where a lot of the cost comes in. You see it adding up down to the thermometer here already. Yeah. And they'll do that for each and every side. So let's do that. And now it's it's like already getting really expensive. And this just looks like four rectangles, you know, or cuboids. So it shouldn't be expensive at all mm. in your mind. But actually, because of the way the mm. thermometer works, it is. And I'm going to show you how to make this really cheap in a second. OK, and then we do one at the back. And then the last one. OK. Let's go back of the frame. Like that. Okay, cool. And I've made like a, a picture frame, right? Yeah. Expensive. Mm -hmm. So a few ways we can make that cheaper. One is if you do want to make it out of individual parts, if you when you first do a cube, if you make it the sort of right size straight away, like that, which helps, or if when you make it big like that, instead of stretching it longer, instead like make it smaller. It's better to get smaller than get bigger because that's cheaper, right? Yeah. Then if you clone it, instead of having unique mm. individual ones, right. that's <coughs> way cheaper. You probably can't get away with a unique one for the back here, so we'll have to go in and we can just modify that one. And that's already a lot cheaper. Yeah. But then if you want to make a really, really, really cheap one, what I tend to do is try and make things like this as one single sculpt. So all I do is make shape like that and then I will just cut out inside of it like that and then that is like way 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 Can way 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 cheaper where is the thermometer Let's go to it. no I can't remember where it is now I've, I've, there it is Ta -da. so yeah there's 19% already used and you think, well, that's used loads <laughs> on my level. The cool thing is that's not kind of 90. Like, if I copy this, I'd only be able to copy it 10 times before the level ran out of space. Mm -hmm. And clearly, I can copy it more than 10 times. And like, it hasn't really added ever anything because we have lots of thermometers inside of thermometers. So, yeah. you know, this isn't always like how full your level is. It represents a whole load of different things. It's just trying to give you guidelines on what's the most expensive at the moment. Cool. Um, but yeah, if you do, if you just make a single one like that, oh, you can see, you can see now, look at the thermometer. Graphics-wise, right. it's gone right down because it's not super tight. Right. And then you can make a, absolutely loads of those. And <laughs> we, don't even get, we don't even get close to the, right. the graphics limit yeah. like we did before. So that's, I hope, 
alleviated some of the confusion and mystery of the thermometer. Yeah. Yeah. If you try and remember those tips, it will help you make your levels bigger and be more detailed. So yeah. yeah. Good luck with that. Yeah. It's amazing. Cool. Both people saying thank you. <laughs> That's okay. That's okay. Okay. Uh, I also wanted to do some uh, logic tips. How much time have we got, actually, Costa? Um, five to six. Five to six. Okay. So I'm going to do uh, a few basic logic things that you people out there may not know or be aware of. Um, our logic is located here in gadgets, and there's a whole bunch of useful things. And I always find the most useful thing for me is the trigger zone. And you get that, you can stamp it into the level. And what this does is looks for things that go inside this area. Uh, you can tweak them by holding L1 and square on the DS4, or triangle and square on triangle on your off hand or your palette hand right. and square on your main hand that opens it up and inside here we've got a whole bunch of options and you can change the shape of the zone which you can change also just by mm -hmm. grabbing the outside of it mm -hmm. you can set it to be scene wide so now it's just looking for everything inside the scene mm -hmm. you can even grab the zone and detach it from the gadget because maybe you want the gadget living in a uh, a microchip somewhere. What is the scene-wide one useful for? The scene, that looks for anything. So if anything exists in your level that that trigger zone might look for, mm -hmm. it will find it cool. instead of just oh. the area that you see. So the scene is like anything at all. It's like looking for the entire world. Mm. So what we'll do is we'll put that back. Um, you can reset things, by the way, to default with triangle, which is really useful. So if you've ever got anything and you're like, oh, I'm way away from the default, if you press triangle on anything, it will reset it back I to didn't know default, that. which is uh, <laughs> it's super helpful. Uh, <coughs> okay, so in this case, what we're going to do is it's set to look for a control sensor, which is basically there's one in a puppet or like maybe in a vehicle mm -hmm. or something you've made, which can get detected when they walk into this zone. So I'm just going to place down a tiny little sculpt so we can, because it's the trigger zone is invisible when you go into play mode. How so about a fork? Where it is. How about a fork? Oh, yeah. Okay, yeah, yeah. Let's, let's get a fork out. So someone will notice... <laughs> you got spoon shame. <laughs> notice that spoon when shame. I was eating cake when we announced the beta, that I was eating it with a spoon. I apologise profusely. Both times as well. Both <laughs> times. I know, I didn't learn my lesson. <laughs> so they were so outraged that they decided to make a fork, and it's actually a fork for me. It's called John's fork. John's fork. I thought that it was someone called John. Ah. And he was like, this is, my, this is my fork. No, I think. And then I reread re the description. Yeah, the description. Let's see. Look, here, where is it? Uh, scroll across. It's right there, there yeah. 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 I saw the beta announcement stream. John V ate a slice of cake with a spoon. <laughs> I, I promised to make him a fork in here for better or worse. So there we go. We got a fork. Okay, so this is going to designate where the, the <laughs> trigger zone is. And now we want a character. So, characters, if you're making a new one, exist in the gadgets as well. And they're over here. And we talked about those last week. I tend to use a deluxe one for most things because it has a load of awesome built-in features. And if I jump into play mode, you won't see anything happen yet, but we've got a character. And then if we walked over into this trigger zone and we pause time, we go back into edit mode and we can tweak this. We can see it's been activated or not as we leave in and out, we can go in and out of it. But we want to make it do something, right? Yeah. So what I'm going to do is, this is probably the most powerful thing I use it for, is to power keyframes. Because a keyframe can do a lot of things at the same time. So if you go up here to animate and go to keyframe and you put it down, it's a bit like a gadget and a little record symbol comes mm -hmm. up. And anything you do pretty much gets recorded. Mm. So what I'm going to do in this case is I'm going to scale the fork up and I can tweak the fork as well which is a group, I go right inside of it, and I can make it glow a little bit like this, you know, and maybe change Holy fork. to glowing red. Sure. And we can stop recording. And so what that means is if I wire this detected up to this keyframe, let me jump into play mode, as I walk up to the fork, <laughs> the fork will get bigger <laughs> and glow. <laughs> which is really useful, because you can, like the keyframe, okay. you could affect a whole bunch of things at the same mm. time. Instead of having to set up loads of wires and lots of different bits of logic, it's often useful because you can do multiple things with it. What it can also do is if you tweak the keyframe itself, it has some smoothing values in here. 
so you can smooth up because that fork just got instantly big right so mm -hmm. what we can do is we can just put a bit of smoothing so we can say take about two seconds to get big and glowy and about two seconds to stop being big and glowy when you walk away and then it's nice and smooth nice oh and that's just using like two gadgets so it's really good you can imagine that being a door opening like it's yeah. really good if you're making a sliding door or even one that twist open you know because it will remember all the positions and everything that's so really it's cool. really really useful for that trigger zones keyframes they are your friends mm. um but let's think we may want to do something else as well so what let me think how about when you're pressing um square while in the trigger zone yeah the fork gets bigger because some people are like wondering how you make certain hand conditions mm -hmm. so inside the puppet if you scope into it with um, L1 and X, or triangle and X on the move controllers, there's the puppet logic here, and you can scope into that. And we've got all the logic inside the puppet, and then one of them is the controller logic. And here, this is the controller sensor, which is getting all the information from your DualShock to tell the game what to do. In this right. case, it's telling the puppet what to do, because we can see here we've got the motion sensor and left stick, which is going into here, and the X button, which is going jump. into jump. Incidentally, if you didn't want the puppet to jump, you could just delete that, and now the puppet wouldn't jump because it's Never got no jump again. signal going into it. Okay, but what we wanted was when you pressed square, so let's find a square, there's a square, we want the keyframe to work. Mm -hmm. So all we need to do is get... And you can use the keyframes on timelines as well. Absolutely, yeah. yes, we, will, we should show that, actually. That's a good idea. So if we go up to our... Gadgets here. Oops, I'm really close to one gadget, so something strange happened. We can get out an AND gate, and you can put these on microchips to neaten it all up. I'm just kind of throwing it in the world to show you. And what an AND gate does is it requires both of these input ports here, or more, because you can add more, to be active until the signal comes out. It, it effectively takes the minimum value that goes into here. Right. So, what I'm going to do is that wire that usually goes up into that keyframe. Instead of coming straight from there and going to the keyframe, I'm going to put it into here first and here. So it requires the trigger zone and square. Right. Like read it because a bit like you're reading English, you know, yeah. Zone yeah. and square. And so now when I go into play mode, I can run over to the fork and nothing will happen. But if I press square, boom, and it <laughs> works. So that's a really good cool. way. Imagine you went up to a door mm. and it had press square, press square to, open. to open. In fact, let's make this fork into a door <laughs> to, just to sort of just why that. not so sure cool all these wires down so what i will do is i'm going to flip it upside down to make it like a portcullis i'm going to and here's a really good pro tip if you click on a keyframe it shows what it keyframed you can actually press triangle on that a bit like we did to reset earlier mm -hmm. and it actually turns off the animation that was recorded for that particular item right so we can go and we can also do that if we... No, we can't. Okay, we still want it to go red though. Okay, oh so yeah. what I'm going to do is just... <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Naturally. Yeah, of course. Of course. Why, would, why wouldn't it? Raise it up like that. So that's going to be the door opening when we press square. And we want a bit of text to appear saying press square to open, mm. of course. So if we head over to gadgets again, one of our gadgets is a text displayer here. Put that down and we can type in anything we want. So let's do press. Press. Mm -hmm. Press. <laughs> oh, damn it. <laughs> <laughs> Testing your my, typing my skills. My it's, it's, yeah, it's, it's really bad. Here we go to. I used to be good at this at one point. Mm -hmm. You're, you're fine. You're yeah, fine, John. Is, you're yeah. fine. There we go. Press square to open. And so that's appeared here. Now, you can move that, and it appears in the screen any way you want. You can change the colors of it. You can change all the right. backgrounds. You know, it's really nice. But I'll let you <laughs> fiddle with all the, the <laughs> interesting fun bits cool. later. And what we're going to say, I'm just going to wire the trigger zone into that. Not the AND gate, because we just want that to appear as soon as you get into the trigger zone. Yeah. So you've got a character walk over and it says press square to open we press square and it opens and through we go so that nice. doesn't require much nice. yeah. you know there's not many gadgets in to do that but you can imagine now it, how you can expand this out to make yeah. levels it's really great yeah cool awesome
I really uh, logic is my favourite thing. Enjoy so many enjoy good things. Logic. Has anyone asked for a specific type of logic um, request out there? I can imagine. Have a look. See if there's. See if anyone. If you want any requests. I'm going to uh, show you how to make special effects as well because I really like special effects and fireworks is one of my favourite ones to do. And I've done this a Me few too. times, I think, but it's really fun. Is you go into paint mode and just draw a stroke like this. And in fact, if you want to be extra fancy, go here and we put, do, yeah. put yeah. Uh, the pen instead of the brush. And that means the harder I press R2, the f or the less hard I press R2, the thinner the stroke. So you can have thin or thick. And it means I can start thick and then get thin. And it's a bit like the firework trail fading off. All you've got to mm. do is draw one single stroke to begin with. And you leave by scoping out with L1 and circle. And you can tweak it. Someone asked if you can make your wires more neat, John. Oh, yeah. Come on. I like to feel yeah, that yeah. they were specifically criticizing oh, your work. Oh, God. Because, yeah. I mean, yes, you can. Making yeah, wires neat is, like, just <laughs> basically what I spend most of my life doing. <laughs> it's really important that you do that. So, yes, I will do that in a second mm. and show you how you can do that, because that's a really good thing. <laughs> so what I'm doing here is I've, I've duplicated. I think you get shamed on every I do. Yeah, somehow. I do. Spoony. I do. Sorry, John. You're that's such a good okay. sport. That's okay. <laughs> Um, I've increased the animation speed here and set it to be a pulse. And so what happens is it's now going to pulse out. But we want that to not loop. So it only happens when time plays mm -hmm. at the moment. Yeah. And then, of course, it wouldn't be a firework. Make it bright and glowy. It was nice and glowy, yeah. So there we go. Got a nice firework. That's pretty cool. And yeah. you can change the speed until you're happy. You can even go over to here and add a tiny bit of gravity. You know, so it flops down like that. There we go. Nice looking mm -hmm. firework there. Okay. And once you do that, sometimes you'll notice your firework disappears. So another pro tip, use the show hide here and preview invisibility, and then you, it yes. will come back so you can see yeah. where it is. And what we want to do in this case is emit it using one of our gadgets called an emitter. So here's an emitter. And you can stick that in the world. And we can tweak that. And in here, there's a whole bunch of cool options. I love this gadget. What I'm going to do is leave it on continuous and mm -hmm. emit every one second, which is its default. And I'm going to say recycle, which means it will keep emitting. It won't just get to 20 and then stop. Yeah. And then you can choose the thing to emit in your world by clicking X on that. Click on the thing. And so now what happens is if we press play, we turn around with the character, we've got a firework going off. Every nice. second there. It's a really nice firework. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's fun. It's fun. <laughs> and you can even you can carry on tweaking this afterwards and it will be reflected. So if I make it brighter here, you will notice when I go back into play mode, it automatically updates the emitted object, which is really handy for speeding up workflow. Like a lot of emitters could be referencing the same object, yeah. which is mm. really, really great. Yeah. Cool. And we can even use uh, an animation to animate that firework getting emitted around. So if we get an action recorder down, and it's now recording, it's a bit like a keyframe, except it records live as you're doing it, you know, live. not just like one at a time. And what I'm going to do is tweak the emitter, and I'm just going to grab it and move around its emit position oh, like this, so cool. just randomly, however I feel fit. And it now means we're going to have like a nice random firework display. Really yeah. nice. Yeah. All right, now clean up your logic. Yeah. Clean up my logic. Okay, <laughs> so obviously all my logic here is an utter disgrace. I feel ashamed. I'm sorry. I'm going to tidy up using a microchip. And it's really important, I find, to keep your logic nice and tidy because after a while, you can see even only with a few gadgets, it's already starting to look a little bit messy. <laughs> so good practices to get into is use a microchip. Whenever you put a microchip down, name it straight away. Don't leave it and think I'll name it later because you yeah. don't, and then you forget, right. what's, you don't. you forget what's in there. So I'm gonna, I can, I'm just gonna call this firework. I would call it like firework and door or something like that. Mm. You know, be as descriptive as you want. Firework makes sense, nice yes, and clear. Yeah, yeah. Give it a nice color, give it like a little firework icon there, and then open it up. And you open it up by scoping into it. And then you can place all your gadgets Onto here. What's cool, uh, a little thing that some people may not know, is when you move an emitter around, it moves like where the thing's going to emit from. Okay. But if you drag it onto a microchip, it retains its position. You saw as I That's moved onto it, right. it's yeah, cleverly. Back. That happens with a few things like trigger zones and stuff yeah. like that. It's just like a handy little thing to try and help you out. 
and then I'm going to get all these bits over here, put those on like that. Okay, this is already starting to look a little bit neater. Mm. And you can expand your canvas, and then we can start lining things up to be make sense. I try and line. Ever, I get super OCD. <laughs> mm. I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing. And you can then, and if you like, if you like neat wires, then I do like neat wires. wires. Yeah. Now we've made like a nice um, fork that glows, turns red, and is a door, and also fireworks for yeah. someone to use, <laughs> as you, you might need for your game. If you press X on a wire, it will bring up a node mm -hmm. as well. So that's really good for routing your wires. Imagine if this was on the other side here. It's really good for being able to move it around and avoid. So it keeps your wires nice and readable. Yeah. So that's the way I like to keep my logic nice and neat. That looks really nice. Yeah, it's much nice. better. I, yeah. I really like it. Martha Stewart of wire. <laughs> Thanks. Like, Thanks. Marie Kando, is that like the more, yeah, she's uh, yeah, more relevant. organization? Yeah. Also, <laughs> pro tip, turn on stay upright yeah. to your, your firework thing here and save its position. And that's really important because it means that every time you open it up, it opens mm. in exactly the same place. And that becomes more important later when there's like microchips on microchips and then you always want them to open up nicely in the same place. So, you know, they yeah. don't overlap yeah. on top of each other. So when you close it down, it opens up over here. If it wasn't ticked on, it would do this. And you're like, ah, mm. it's a mess. <laughs> yeah. So right. make sure you save your locations, you name them and neaten up your microchips because it yeah. will save you so much. I can't stress it will save you so much time. I really later. think that John should do like the organization of wires show. Yeah. To stream. Like, yeah. A couple know, of hours. 20 minutes each week. Okay. A couple just, hours. Yeah. Yeah. Just oh, yeah. organizing yeah. Yeah. wires. People just ask you to go into their dreams and like maybe there'll be people in dreams who are just asked to tidy oh, up wires. It's like a service. That's it's a like the John Beach role. tidy up the yeah. wire service, yeah. which I really <clears> like. You notice if you look in any of our stuff that I've we've remixed, we have some rules which are wires going left to right forward are at 45 degrees and one's going backwards are at 90 degrees mm. but you don't have to follow that it's just cool. what i like to do to show whether a wire is going forwards or backwards yeah. thanks john so thanks there we go that, nice. is, that is some nice little logic tips uh, for you out nice there. we are out of time and uh thank you for joining us on the stream um just to recap uh the stuff about beta we have sent out uh eu codes we will be sending out another batch of eu codes on monday um we're going to try to get as many people as we can into the beta uh just bear with us us codes are going out at 1 p.m pacific uh so you do the time zone math please. and <laughs> uh and sony is sending them out they will not come from us um please check your spam folders if you use gmail check your promotions folders they do get lost in there sometimes mm. um but uh you don't need to contact us directly about it because we, we can't help um and yeah, uh, we hope to see more of you in the beta. We'll have more information about when those codes are going out on Monday uh, and any future beta stuff on our social channels. So check there. And thanks for joining us. We'll try to get mm -hmm. to more of your questions. John has been really active on our feedback forums. So he's trying to <laughs> pay attention to all the different things that you're asking so we can work some of it into these streams. And we'll be back next week with mm -hmm. another stream showing off more of your amazing beta uh, stuff. So and also, we'll publish this one here. Oh, yes. Oh, yeah. We need to release that. Also, today is Danny Babara's birthday. Oh, the guy who founded Danny. Dream Bubble. So happy, happy birthday. birthday. Everyone say happy yeah, birthday join to Danny. Dream Bubble, which is happy our dude. biggest uh, community uh, fan site. Join the forums there. Uh, he's great. They're great. Yeah. And um, thank you for joining us. And we'll see you next week, Friday, 5 p.m. GMT, as nice. always. Good, strong, <laughs> strong time zone. Strong GMT. time zone. I just have so many time zones in my head. Cool. Cool. Thank <laughs> Bye you guys. Everybody. Bye. Bye.